an object that typically just provides a stroke and a stroke thickness around another object. You see at the bottom there the Grand Canyon image where we have the border with a stroke of blue and a thickness of 10 and we rounded the rectangles and we rounded the corners in the upper left and lower right and it has nested in it the image that's being displayed inside that border view. We can also use the border as a standalone object up here at the top where we have a border with a stroke of green, a background of orange, thickness of five, and a height and width request to make it a square. Now the background colors we've seen in other views, which is universal, can be used instead of background. So I could change that background to background color. We can even have both. However, the background will take precedence over the background color. I show this now. Normally I would, sh I would present borders with after I've talked about images, but I want to use the border in a couple of our next projects. One as a standalone object like we see here for a color swatch and then one where we use a border around some labels just to give a little more definition around the edges. So let me show you some more examples of borders inside Visual Studio. I've jumped over to my Windows machine to demonstrate the use of borders and the reason I did that is Sometimes the borders don't render correctly on Visual Studio for Mac, especially for iOS devices. So I think it's just a bug that uh, needs to be corrected and hopefully will be soon. Um, as I mentioned before, .NET MAUI is still kind of in its infancy, but is pretty stable and is getting better with each new build. But what I want to do here is demonstrate what borders do and how you can use them. So I have several examples of borders. The first one is just the one I showed earlier. Uh, just a square, the green stroke, orange background, thickness of five. But then we can add in a stroke shape. And I added in a round rectangle with a corner radius of zero for the upper left and the other three are 75, gives us this teardrop shape. You'll see this shape a lot in things like badges. Then here's the original image of the Grand Canyon. And then I took that image and I wrapped it with a border of black and a stroke thickness of 10. Then I wrapped it again with a blue border and added a stroke shape of a round rectangle with the upper left and bottom right corners with a radius of 45 units. So again, this is the first corner, upper left, upper right, bottom left, bottom right. So one, two, three, four in terms of these values here for the round rectangle. Then I added another one, this time though I did a stroke shape of ellipse, gave it a 300 width and a 200 height, and gave it a stroke of red, I give it a stroke dash array of 2 comma 1. So each line is basically double of what the gaps are. On the Mac side I had to add a stroke dash offset, but I wouldn't necessarily have to do that here on the Windows side, it worked fine without that. But just be aware that might be an issue for you. Then I wrapped a border around a label. Get rounded the corners this time I did the upper right and the bottom left. And then we can also take a border and wrap it around a stack layout that might contain several things. So we'll do that when we get into things like collection list and we wanna have cards that might have a border around the card with an image and some information. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.